story entirely we're about to see a man have his first premier matchup in over two years his name, Wardlow with Sonny Vice. We saw Wardlow instrumental very much so in Vice's victory over Ace Perry earlier tonight. Wardlow is on the radar of so many top organizations. He brings to the ring with him the Revenge Pro Championship based in Erie, the IWC Super Indie Championship based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Wardlow has been collecting championships and leaving bodies in his wake. I don't know what Sonny Vice did to get Wardlow on his side, but that is a genius move. And Joe, I'm gonna go on a limb. I think Sonny Vice might have known, might have known that Wardlow was out there. Keeping a wall, you don't say. Keep in mind the long-standing relationship between these two, Vice and Wardlow actually trained together once upon a time when they first started their careers. Wardlow's been, uh, Wardlow's been fighting the biggest and the baddest, but Cisco Silver doesn't know that he isn't six foot six, 300 pounds. Cisco Silver has never backed out from a fight, and we've seen him stand up to opponents large and small. Most recently, Dylan Bostic, who's made some very inappropriate remarks about Cisco's family. Well, that's certainly uh, the way Dylan Bostic plays the game, whether people agree with that or not. And hey, I said it, Cisco Silver. We know he doesn't uh, know size, doesn't know what it is. For him, it's all about heart. Well, he's going to learn what size, power, and an absolute unbelievable physical specimen is in Wardlow right now. I mean, not a lot of guys, we've said it before, we talk about the main event, but Wardlow is right in there. Guys that have size, guys that have power, guys that have ability, and when they need to, can fly through the air. Wardlow is about six foot four, 265 pounds. Last time he was in a premier ring was two and a half years ago. And he has not been on the couch eating potato chips. He's been wrestling for some very, very prestigious championships. If you're going to go one-on-one -on -one with Wardlow, you got to be all in. You can't take 90%, 95%, 99%. got to give 100%. I know Cisco Silver is going to bring it. I don't doubt that he gives 100% to everything he does. And you have the Silver Squad and do the little circle thing. Look at how well put together Wardlow is. But, you, but, but how do you take on Wardlow? Okay, you know how you ask me questions, Joe. If you were in a match against Wardlow, and I would pay him a lot of money to see that, what would you do? What would I do? I mean, there's not much you can do. I've been watching this man's career for a number of years, and I'll be honest, I haven't found a weakness on him yet. Uh, Cisco's looking for one. I, I would say you hit and run and tire him out, but I've never seen Ward look at tire. I would say take out a knee and take away his vertical base, but... He, he can excel on the mat as well, but check out Cisco face to face with Wardlow. He's not afraid of anything. And he's trying to knock that thigh muscle. He's trying to create an opening. Cisco, uh, he can call it more guts and brains. He can call it walking into the mouth of hell. Cisco's in for a fight and he knows he's got to give it everything he has. Well, you know, most men, when they. Oh, check out that counter. Did you see that? Well, there's the athleticism that we talked about. Cisco went for the head scissors. Wardlow with a cartwheel midair, landed on his feet, and check out Cisco now. Through the legs, drop kick connect, warm low to the apron. Joe, when you walk into the tiger cage at the zoo, what happens? You get mauled. Exactly. When you get in that ring with Wardlow, you're gonna feel the same thing. Springboard drop kick sends Wardlow to the floor. Vice uh, there for moral support. Cisco may have an opening, and check this out, Vice just pushed Wardlow out of the way. 
Cisco is building some momentum here, had a chance, and now Sonny Vice, the difference maker, and Sonny Vice pays for it. Sonny Vice took his eye off the ball. That was long overdue, and oh, Cisco went cross body, Wardlow caught him. We saw Wardlow send Ace Perry into the post earlier tonight, now similar fate for Cisco Silva. Here, you can feel those clubbing blows throughout this building, no matter where you are. Well, better him than me. What would I need to do to get you into a match with Wardlow? That's not gonna happen. Man. Like, I, I know some guys with some deep pockets. I think there's a market to see you beaten by Wardlow. I, I'm, I'm appreciative you think that way. Well, I'm just thinking about you. Imagine the payday you could get for a big matchup. I'm happy you're thinking while watching this matchup. You know who else I think is watching this matchup? As Cisco gets field across the ring. I think Dylan Bostick's watching this matchup somewhere. And what do you think's going through his mind? He's probably smiling like a Cheshire cat that just ate the mouse. I mean, he, he's got to be happy with this. You know what it is to be in the ring with Wardlow. Uh, Dylan Bostick has eyes, so we can certainly see and he's going to pick apart whatever Wardlow damages. Then again, with Wardlow, he's probably going to damage just about everything Cisco Silver has. Cisco gets launched once again. Let's hope Cisco Silver doesn't have Dylan Bostic in the back of his mind right now, because if he does, well, Wardlow might knock it from the back of his mind to the front of his mind and out of his mind. And uh, you're not wrong with that assessment, I would say. But Wardlow, that tree trunk of a leg in the back of the neck of Cisco. Nowhere for Cisco to go. And Cisco's a proud man. He's representing his family. He's representing his squad. But, man, there's, he's just being overwhelmed at this point in time. Wardlow has arms the size of legs and legs the size of Volkswagen. So, and they're all muscle. Cisco's still fighting. Cisco, any opportunity he can get, firing away. But, I mean, Wardlow, how do you put a dent in that armor? Only. And with Warblow by the side of Sonny Vice, what does this mean for the likes of Andrew Palace? We saw Palace get decimated by these two men a month ago. Well, as we uh, list the names of people that have beef with Andrew Palace, Sonny Vice. And, and, and Second attempt at the head scissors. And Wardlow puts the brakes on. Can you believe the, the body control? Wardlow just manipulating Cisco all over the place. It's one thing to have issue with Sonny Vice, who, by the way, also, also has issues with Calvin Vitor and, 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 or, I'm sorry, and, and Ashton Day. He might have issues with everybody on the roster, but you throw Wardlow in there, that's a problem all in and of itself. It's something, as you said, not a lot of people have had an answer for. Almost as if Wardlow is angry now that, that Cisco is showing all this fight. I think Wardlow was born angry. It's only gotten worse since then. He's not a man that's uh, going to be showing a lot of smiles unless it's for ego and, and, and happiness of his own doing. Absolutely. Cisco finds himself on the floor. But you know that Cisco's not going to stay there. I can't imagine Cisco uh, tucking tail and running. Or, or not taking this head on. Wardlow thinks this matchup's in the bag, but I don't know, I have my other predictions about that. Well, if Cisco Silver has anything left, he's gonna fight. Absolutely. Let's go. We're at nine, wait, we're at nine, and this matchup could be over. And Cisco back in, man, just by a hair. He's also gotta be smart. You mentioned about his family. He does have a family to think of. He may not get to a match with Dylan Bostic if he keeps angering the beast, Wardlow. And, well, this could be it. This all day... All day! All day long, that's the Wardlow calling card. But Cisco lands on his feet. And Cisco's fighting. We saw that all day long driver drop Palace a month ago. Cisco gets the revolution. Got the head scissor off the third time. Boy, he got the big man down. He gets up quick, but he did get him down. He's got to capitalize. Cisco's all heart, all guts. He doesn't care what the odds are. He's going to fight. Cisco Springboard Moonsault. This could be it. Two only. If Cisco wins this match, is this an upset? I think it's got to be. You look at 
Wardlow. Granted, we haven't seen him here in two and a half years, but you mentioned the championships and the, the pile of bodies that he has laid in front of him, not ha that have been laid in front of him, that Wardlow has decimated, near decapitated, and dominated. Wardlow's never been beaten here in Premier. His original run, or this one, Wardlow. You believe Cisco tried to elevate Wardlow. He had him up until Wardlow got the elbows in. And a hellacious back suplex. cisco has been looking to do the impossible, and he's done a hell of a good job, but Wardlow scoops him up. All day long, driver. Can Cisco kick out? Well, the body gives out, even though the heart was willing. Wardlow, a physically dominant victory, but give all the credit in the world to Cisco Silver, who fought his heart out in there and would not back down or quit. Well, he can definitely be proud. He, he can have pride in the fact that he never gave up. But if he's going to worry about Dylan Bossick in the future, you know, maybe he should have. Well, you got to believe Dylan is going to end up seeing this matchup. You got to believe Andrew Palace is going to end up seeing this matchup. And regardless of the decision of this matchup, I think both Cisco and Wardlow showed they're ready for battle moving forward. But Wardlow, the man of war in his name, comes out on top.